you're looking at adhesives and tapes and in particular something that we call flash band. Now flash band if you like is a um, flashing tape we call it a self-adhesive lead um, in the trade it's it's not lead of course it's uh, simply fle flexible flashing and it's it's great for repairs to, to pretty much um, all sorts of roofing and what I'm going to show you today is we'd love to be out on site doing this but uh, it, we're not able to today but I'm going to show you a mock-up that we have here of a galvanized powder coated tin gutter okay now these are, are more and more prevalent in it people are using um, tin sheets tin profiles for, for sheds and everything these days so as you can see there's a, a join here which ordinarily would be sealed and riveted together but we're going to assume in the, for the case of this video that this is dripping with water and you would normally effect this repair wherever possible inside the gutter if you could uh, it's a lot less unsightly um, and um, it, it just works better but for the purposes of the video we're going to show you outside so we have a crack here the first thing that we're going to do using the the flash band here's one that I unwrapped earlier on and you can see that the flash band itself has a, a backing on so you can't get to the adhesive um, for, for now and you would measure the the length of the cut that you want to cover and you would cut that off here's one I prepared earlier in true blue Peter style so I know that that fits all the way around that that gutter okay we'll show you how we're going to apply that in a moment but the first thing that we do is using the primer that comes there's two little tins of primer with each of these 300 millimeter wide packs this particular roll that I showed you earlier is 3.75 meters long and it's 300 millimeters wide and the two tins of primer that you can see there come with that so it's a great idea a flash band will work without the primer but it gives you much better adhesion if you can prime the surface first make sure it's absolutely clean no loose material give it a wash down even give it a wipe down with white spirit just to degrease it and then put the primer on the surface and that gives you much greater sticking power you'll see a lot of tradesmen just running uh, a blow lamp over the surface or even over the back of the flash band just to warm it up a little bit to get better adhesion we're not going to do that here because it breaks all sorts of health and safety rules but uh, you will sometimes see that happening and then what I'm going to do now is peel off the backing strip to the flash band and you can feel that that's a really tacky tar like backing okay now by applying this to the top of my gutter and pushing it in place that will stick pretty much immediately now You'll see a lot of guys doing this with uh, what looks like a wallpaper seamed roller. We simply use a bit of batten that we've run over a piece of sandpaper to give it a couple of rounded corners and uh, a sharper type point. So we use that just to push the flash band home as we're going round the gutter, just to make sure that it's absolutely pressed down tight round the corner using the timber of course it's not going to dig in and then we can use our fingers to guide that all the way around and as we do that push up under the gutter making sure that as we go all the edges are down and then carry on all the way along to the underside of the gutter and then when we get to an internal angle because of the shape of the timber you can see that we can get right up into the corner and using the point of the timber run along to make absolutely sure that that joint is sealed so let's get the camera to zoom in and get a close-up of my little piece of batten and as you can see I've sanded the edges away. It's not absolutely sharp point. There's a couple of millimeters there because those two millimeters will go into the flashing and allow the corner to be pushed right into an internal corner. So there's a little trick of the trade when you're using flashing. There's no need to go and buy 
a seaming roller, just a little bit of batten is fine. And that's how we use flash band. Don't forget the primer. It's excellent stuff. As I said, if, we, if wherever possible, we would affect this joint inside of the gutter so that, um, so that it couldn't be seen. But sometimes you can't do that. It has to be outside. It can be painted um, and uh, it, it can be made to match in as best as possible with the existing gutter. But that's flash band by Evo Stick from Bostick. Great stuff.